All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. I'm trying out this lavalier mic as opposed to using the microphones that I used to have over here. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I want to start off this video real quickly and talk about this guy right here. Let's clear something up. This is the uh, Ballistic Advantage. This is a premium fluted barrel. I took this out the other day. And uh, yeah, the results were not quite what I expected or what I would have wanted. Does that mean it's a bad barrel? No, but I do think with a little bit of work, uh, we can take this thing out and really make it shine. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So one of the things I just want to let you guys know, because there's a lot of people who had questions, we're going to go ahead and we're going to true the face up on that receiver, go ahead and accurize the barrel and get it reset. And we're going to take it out and punch some really nice ammo down range to see what it actually can do. And I'm going to try to do it on a non-windy day. All right. So the next thing I want to talk to you about guys is our second amendment. Why is it so important? Well, I think right now our second amendment is more important than ever. And I think that the individuals who are new to firearms, who felt the need to actually go out and purchase one have truly understood what that second amendment is all about. These individuals may have been the person last week who was like, no one needs to own a gun, but then they find out that, well, law enforcement's not always going to be there to protect you. And as an American citizen, you have the right to protect yourself, which is really cool that these individuals, now that they are firearm owners, may look at things a little bit differently down the road when it comes time to vote against the guy who says, you don't need this, and you don't need this, and you don't need this. So anyway, I thought it was real important to talk about that. Now, secondly, let's talk about a couple states. Now, a contrast between governor and different states and what's going on right now, some of these governors have literally gone out and signed executive orders to remove your ability to purchase firearms. In the guise that they have to protect the public for from the coronavirus. But the contrast between good and bad, the governor might be bad here, and it still might be bad here. I'm talking about uh, J.B. Pritzker of Illinois. Thanks to my good friend, Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons. You know who I'm talking about. But let's talk about this. Phil Murphy from New Jersey, the governor of New Jersey. I've talked about him before in the past. The New Jersey State Police NICS unit is directing the vendor of the NICS online application to turn off the NICS online services, submitting the NICS trans transactions by eliminating the request form. So anyway, how did this happen? This came through an executive order from Phil Murphy, basically taking away the ability for people to go to a legal gun store or an FFL and purchase a gun. One, because he says it's non-essential. No, it's not essential. You don't need to worry about that. Another asshole in this world, is gay. his name is Tom Wolf. Currently right now, thanks Tom, you pretty much put everybody out of work in the state of Pennsylvania. In any case, he has deemed that gun stores are, what did he say, uh, non-life sustaining. Now the Pennsylvania Supreme Court just dismissed a lawsuit filed by a gun shop that challenged Governor Tom Wolf's authority to shut businesses determined it to be non-life sustaining, paving the way for enforcement to begin on Monday. Gun stores are non-life sustaining. Lawsuit was dismissed. Uh, this justice, and I'm writing all this down because this stuff is hard to remember, but David Wecht said, Wolf's order amounts to an absolute and indefinite prohibition upon the acquisition of firearms by citizens of this commonwealth. A result in clear tension with the Second Amendment. In other words, they dismissed the case, but they said his actions are in direct contradiction of our Second Amendment. Come on and say it. Say it what it is. It's a violation of our Second Amendment and should not happen. Uh, David Wecht, the Honorable David Wecht, he called on Wolf to make some allowance for the in-person sale of firearms. It strikes, strokes my ass. I swear to God. Okay, so but here's the deal. Illinois, the land of the great firearm, gun control, high crime BS we've got going, J.B. Pritzker uh, <laughs> says this. These are essential to human life in this order. Liquor stores 
Weed dispensaries and gun stores are all deemed essential and will be able to sell their products to the public. Illinois governor says this. And I want to thank Ethan again for sending this out because it's like, where the hell did this come from? But here's a guy that recognizes that the Second Amendment doesn't stop just because there's a virus in the air. An individual's life, the liberty, the uh, pursuit of happiness, and to the, the be able to defend oneself never ends no matter what. I don't know what I'm preaching here, but I will tell you this. Uh, also, New York. Uh, who else? New Jersey, a couple other ones out there. But in any case, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is a long, lengthy video. But I wanted to talk to you about the Second Amendment and how we can embrace these people who just went out and bought their firearms because I read a comment from a gentleman today. He said, my wife and I were not pro-gun, but now we're working on our second firearm, our second pistol. We've got our CCWs, and we're thinking about our first semi-automatic firearm and we un now understand the importance of the Second Amendment. Thank you. This is what we need to be doing, guys. All right. So anyway, that's it. We are taking this guy back out, the uh, Ballistic Advantage. They deserve a good, good test, and I'm going to do it. Plus, also what I want to do is I want to throw at least another 100 rounds or so through it, and then let's take that scope and send it back through and see what that barrel looks like. Anyway, with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom's not free. That's a mouthful. You guys try it. Let's go to Boy32. I am out.